The operation of a nuclear power plant. Nowadays, we are simply unable to imagine our everyday lives without electricity. Most devices in our lives in the 21st century use electricity. Without it, entire towns would shut down. But where exactly do we get this mysterious energy from? We will now visit a pressurized water reactor type of nuclear power station to show you where this unbelievable force comes from. In nuclear power plants, the thermal energy from the nuclear fission occurring within the nuclear reactors is utilized. Every single reactor is covered with a red dome. There is a hermetically closed system, a containment structure under the dome, that is, under the bridging, that no ordinary visitors are allowed to see. We also find fuel rods in the reactor, which contain the uranium dioxide necessary for nuclear fission. The uranium nuclei inside the control rods are split by neutrons during nuclear fission. Thus, a single uranium nucleus is split into two smaller nuclei and a few neutrons. Neutrons cause further nuclear fission, thus creating a chain reaction that can be controlled and is self-supporting. Every reactor contains a total of 42 tons of fuel rods. This is practically equivalent to the weight of a trailer truck. The power station has a supply of fuel rods that lasts for two years, and they are changed only once a year. Now we will sneak a peek into one of the control rooms at the power plant. This is where the reactor protection system is supervised. Only the most highly trained experts are allowed to work in this hall full of switches and displays. They learn how to do their jobs over the course of a number of years at the power station training facility. We should leave now. Let's not disturb their important work. The enormous amount of heat generated during the chain reaction is conveyed by the water that circulates within the closed system. Under high pressure, the temperature of the water is around 300 degrees Celsius. The heat conveyed from the reactor enters another closed water cycle where it passes through heat exchangers to generate steam. The amount of steam thus generated keeps the enormous yellow turbines in motion at 3,000 turns per minute. The rotary motion of the turbines, which are connected to the blue generators, produces high voltage electricity. In the end, the electricity enters the national electrical grid and thus our homes through the transformers. The waste steam is condensed using the cool water of the river. It is thus transformed back to its liquid state and conveyed back into the power station. This water cycle is open the 100 cubic meters of water extracted every second from the adjacent river is released back into the river with a temperature that is on average 8 degrees higher than before. With this output, one could fill an average swimming pool with water in just 20 seconds. No radioactive substance is released into the river, so its flora and fauna are not in danger. Thank you. 
A modern nuclear power plant can supply up to 50% of a country's electricity production. The upside of the nuclear power station is that it emits no harmful substances and its fuel is significantly cheaper than various hydrocarbons. Even renewable energies are two or three times more expensive than nuclear power. For example, the production of one kilowatt of electricity is 2.5 times more expensive at a wind farm than at a nuclear power station. However, a more serious downside of nuclear power is the fact that radioactive waste is produced during the process. This waste needs to be handled with great care. The safest place to store it is approximately 200 meters below the ground. Such storage units have already been established at most modern power plants. In addition to all the renewable energy sources that have been continuously spreading around the world, nuclear energy will still be needed in the future. According to plans, most nuclear power stations will definitely be operable for a few decades to come.